Today, we're going to be talking about flow dynamics calibrations, when to do them, and how to do them in Bamboo Lab Studio. Let's jump right in. Jumping right in, the reason I'm doing this flow dynamics calibration is for this particular print. This is a print that's being done in TPU as this tube here it needs to be fairly flexible. This is something I had to custom design for another project I've been working on. The issue I'm running into is as the print is going on, occasionally I'll have layers that have little to no extrusion in them and they basically leave this print where I can just break off sections and sometimes it starts all the way down here at the bottom. Other times it's all the way towards the top. And I just think I have a flow issue. So that's what we're going to be testing. Coming over and to get to do that dynamic flow test, we're going to come over here to calibration. And we're going to make sure we select our flow dynamics. You'll notice there are a flow dynamics and there's a flow rate. I just finished a video on flow rate, so make sure you go check that out if you think that is your issue. Um, but at this point, I've moved over to this flow dynamic side. In this uh, calibration, the big things that we focus on are, or the reasons why you'd wanna do this is stated right here, hey, you're using a new filament that you have never used before, you think your nozzle might be wore out and you need to replace a new one, or you just replaced your nozzle, or if you want to check your max volumetric speed, um, possibly a print temperature change, stuff like that. So this is how I test this. I run this on most new filaments that I use. This is a TPU that I have not used before. So we're going to test it and see what's going on here. To start out, we're going to go to a manual calibration. And we're going to make sure all this information is correct. So I am using a four millimeter nozzle. Uh, these are all the plates that you can look at. I'm using a textured PEI plate. And I am actually not using my AMS. We're using an external because it's TPU. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you're using TPU inside of the AMS unit. Definitely would like to get some feedback on that. The first method that I'm going to actually look at is actually a pattern. Um, I find that I like this a little bit better. And so all I need to do now is hit calibrate and it's gonna send the job straight through to my printer. It looks like this is gonna take around 11, 12 minutes and uh, we're gonna let this bed heat up and then we'll get back to you after the print's finished. After looking at this, uh, giving you a little close up here, it looks like any one of these 0 0.01, 0 0.02 would be just fine to run with. Um, got some issues up here, but for the most part, it seems like I'm not getting a lot of differentiation in any of these lines, like I said, probably going to end up going with 0.02 after looking at this super close as the modification that I need to make. All right, now that we've finished our calibration, we're going to say next. And it's telling me to check out the corner quality um, like I was just looking at before. For the most part, I think we are going to go with um, 0.02 on this one and hopefully that should help clean up some of it and we won't have lots of globs sticking out on sides but also won't be under extruding as well hopefully you like this video let me know what you think down in the comments and we'll see you next time